In this project we're going to learn how to draw and paint the dragonfly. The dragonfly has got some quite complicated shapes within the wings so I'm going to show you how to draw that using a series of dots and the drawing grid so we're going to need a fresh one of those. Firstly we're going to need a central guideline so you can take your pencil to the top uh, square that you've got here in the middle and find the centre of that and just draw a line down and then follow that line all the way down to the bottom of your square. That will enable us to put the dragonfly right in the middle of our area. So then we're going to create a series of dots that are going to guide us into drawing these shapes. So come to this line here and draw yourself a little dot about a quarter of the way up that line. Then to come to this outside line of that square and draw yourself a dot about halfway up. And in the same way, if it helps you, you can take a line across like this. Draw another dot there. And level with this one, another dot on this side. Then come down to this line here and draw a dot that's about a third of the way in on that line. And do the same on this side. Then come to this line here, which is on the left hand side of the middle box and draw yourself a dot that's about a quarter of the way down that line. And in the same way, we want one across here on this side. So this is going to give us um, the sort of wingspan of the, the upper wings here. Uh, before we go to that though, let's just draw in a central body shape. So taking this point here, draw an oval, comes down about this far. Don't want that to be too fat, so a nice slender oval shape. And then come down to the bottom of that middle line there, draw yourself a dot that's about a quarter of the way in, just give yourself somewhere to aim to. Take your pencil back up to the bottom of the oval that you've just drawn, and draw another long, really long, thin shape like this. Don't feel confident with your line, you can just feel your way around to it and keep that nice and thin. And then let's go back to the oval, the first oval at the top there and draw ourselves a circle here, another circle there and a small circle at the top that's going to form the head of our creature. Now when you've got the upper oval here, just think about the top half of it and where it intersects with this line. Put a couple of dots there for yourself. And then another couple of dots just above, around about here. So what we can do then is just to join up some of the dots that we've got. So let's start with this one, up to there up to this edge, down to this dot, along to that dot, and back up. It's given us that quite sort of tricky wing shape there. And because we've measured across and we know that our dots are at unequal places on the opposite side, we know that we're gonna get 
a very, very similar wing on the other side. So we can join that dot together, that line together, that one. Come down. back up so that gives everything in position and we can really refine that shape when we're doing our drawing onto art paper in the same way we can draw the lower wing which is slightly different in shape so let's look for in this middle square here see if you can put a dot about and about there and there and then one on the line there and at the same place on that side. And then put a dot on this line here about halfway up. And on this line here about halfway up there. There are all the dots that we need. And then we can take our pencil to this starting point here. Draw a line down. Cross. Sweep it round to there, and match it to there. So I've curved those lines a little bit because that's what we're going to do when we finish the drawing. And let's do the same on this side, down, across, round to there, and curve it round to there. So the dragonfly also has some zigzaggy legs, so I'm going to put those in. And there's your basic shape. So we can um, refine this now, now we've got everything in place. Let's do a bit of work on these lower wings because they, they're a bit round, more rounded on the end. They don't really come to a point there. So let's do ourselves a bit more of a curve on either end of those. And then we can take a sweeping line round like that. And we can get rid of our guidelines inside. You find it's much easier to draw straight lines first and then develop curved lines around them. So that's why we're doing it that way. And in the same way, take that line up and round. Smooth it off as well, see? Much nicer curvy line, more natural wing shape there. rid of the bits that we don't want again. So let's do the same with the top wings. So they go to, to quite a bit of a point now. I don't want to really soften that off. So um, what we can do is add a curvy line on there. Curvy line on there. Join that to that. There and this instead of having very angular lines can have much nicer curves. So I might want to make the body a little bit more slender, but I think we'll do that in the next stage. That's our basic drawing. Now it's time to draw, draw through to the art paper. So I've got watercolour paper here. So I'm going to paint it in watercolour. And remember you can either trace this down or use a light box. If you don't have a light box, you can put your image in front of a bright window, tape, um, tape it in place and then draw through onto your art paper. 
So I'm just going to position this nicely and then I'm going to just draw through my shapes. See how this wing is tucked behind that wing so you don't see where that leads back to the body because this wing just comes in front of it. So I've chosen a small set of colours here. I've got a really bright but deep green, sort of like a viridian green, if you've got that one. Um, a bright pink, a turquoise and a blue. So this blue that I've got is called ultramarine blue. But any blues or greens that you have will be fine. So I've had a little play around with my colours to start with and I like this combination of colours for the body of my um, dragonfly, the central part. Uh, they go really well together and then I want to make the wings really delicate and fluffy so I've chosen this set of colours here which is turquoise, pink and the ultramarine blue and you can see there I've used some splattering techniques as well. Um, so this is where we're going to need the toothbrush as well as the brush so you need to just get those things handy. And it's a good idea to have a nice kind of puddle of your watercolours ready sitting in your palette before you start painting. Something else just to point out is that I have lightly rubbed away the outlines that we drew for the wings just because I want them to look really translucent and delicate. I don't want them to have a heavy line around them. And I've kept the heavier line for the body shape. So you might want to do that before you start your painting. Just rub them away just enough so that you can still faintly see them. So firstly the body section then. I really liked how these colours float together, the turquoise, the blue and the green. So they're the colours I'm going to use here. And I'm going to save more of the green for down here. Let's start with this top area. So I've just got a clean wet brush and I'm just going to fill that area with clear water and then just very lightly drop in some turquoise and then some of this lovely ultramarine blue See how those two float together but we can help them out a little bit with our brush and then i'm going to come down here so this time i'm going to start with the turquoise but i'm going to wet the area first Get 
the water just sinking for a moment because I've got rather a lot of water on there. If you find that you have a big puddle on there, just let that sink into the paper for a second. And then I'm going to start with a green this time from the bottom upwards. Lead it into the turquoise again. And then I'm going to go up to the head and I'm just going to do those in blue. That's it, and then um, you can get a hairdryer on that to dry or just leave it to dry for a moment. So we want that to be dry before we do the wings. Okay, before we move on to the wings, and now that that's really dry, let's just intensify our drawing a little bit with the outline because we want the body to stand out against the wings. So I'm just going to reinforce some of my drawing shape. My pencil. Tidying things up a little bit. Okay, so next thing that we want to do is apply some colour to the wings, and I'm going to change to this colour set for the wings. So um, we want some pink, blue and turquoise going on. So I think I'd like to have the, start with the turquoise moving into the pink and then have the, apply the blue on the end. And as that blue mixes with the pink, it's gonna make a lovely purple. So in order to get this right, we really need to paint each wing individually. So I'm going to change around the angle of my work so that I can do that more easily. And I've just got a clean, clean brush there water and fill the first area so let's do this first wing here follow quite carefully the initial line that you drew in your wing shape and then just drop your colours in. So we're starting with turquoise. Now we don't want this to be too bright, we don't want it to be as bright as the body, so try and make your turquoise a little bit more dilute. It's still quite strong. And I want it to be really nice and pale. Move into the pink. Let the two blend together. And 
and then finish with this darker blue at the end. So this needs to be pale as well. brush to help to blend those together. Now I'm going to move to the other side and do the other one because I need that to dry before I do the one underneath it. So if we move to this side that will give that a good chance to dry. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Start off with the clear water. Need the turquoise, nice and pale. Then some very pale pink. If you put your colour on and you think, oh no, that's too strong, just literally get a wet, uh, a damp brush and lift some of it out. Uh, you can sort of dilute it whilst it's still wet and then this part on the end here is going to be the ultramarine blue Want to, you can try dropping in a little bit of water to either of those. So a few dots of water will kind of mottle those colours and make some quite nice effects. And then get that nice and dry before we move on. So now, by way of making these um, lower wings slightly different, I'm just going to use pink and blue for these and I'm going to make the paint a little bit deeper. So I'm still going to wet that area first. By the way, these two top wings are really dry now. into that corner So wipe that area. Let's add the pink first. So still quite pale, but not as pale as the one above it. Feed in some blue. Get 
the two plates together. And then whilst that's drying off a little bit, we can move to the other one and do the same. Start with just water again. And then the blue. want to you can stop your painting a little bit to get things to run together you can also just drop a bit of clear water in in there as well just to give a nice sort of mottled effect And then let that dry. Let's now add a few details. I'm going to use a very fine pointy brush and just add a few details down here. You notice I'm doing those lines, they're not all evenly spaced and they're kind of grouped in different numbers. So there's three there, two there, one there. One there, a couple there, very, very fine, just slightly curved. Like so, just to add a little bit of detail. And then using the same method, I want to add a little bit of detail to the wings. So think about this line coming down here I'm just going to kind of follow that down do a slight curve like that and same on the other side then back to this one we have a line coming out from there and then going into like a Y shape. They're the sort of veins of the, the wings. Same way here, so you come from there and out from the Y shape.
and then I want to do the same with those top wings but I don't want to use that dark blue so I'm going to I think I'm going to use the turquoise keep it nice and pale and this time I'm going to draw a line like this So the other side. Oops, that was nearly a disaster. Nearly dropped my brush. Um, and then here we're going to come out from there. And just sort of Y shape at the end again. This one the same. And we can let those dry for a moment. So for this part, I just want to add a little bit of uh, splattering around the wings. So that's what I sort of showed you earlier here just to make them look a bit shimmery and as though they're moving around. So I'm going to use this old toothbrush and just make sure that it's not soaking wet, but it's just a bit damp. So um, it's maybe a good idea just to dip it in some water and then just dab it a little bit. And then let's try it with the turquoise first. So just put your toothbrush into the paint Good idea to have another piece of paper around just so you can kind of try it out a little bit first before you put it on your work. And just holding the the toothbrush sort of upside down, so pointing down towards your, your, your painting and using your thumb, you can flick on the surface of it and it will, it will deliver some of the paint onto the paper. So I'll just show you here first. So it creates a really nice sort of fine spray. So the spray will tend to go away from the toothbrush. So think about that when you're doing it on your painting as to where you would actually like it to go. So I'm going to just do a little bit around the wings. And I could try it with the darker blue. I want it to spray away from the body, so face this way. Have a bit of fun with it really, see where you want to put it. And I think I might do a bit of pink as well, so just quickly wash my toothbrush out. Dab it with some tissue again so it's not too saturated with water. And let that dry and then you can have fun by finishing off your design with the brush and just adding some small dots of colour around the wings
just to finish off then I'm going to add a little bit of dark blue I've done a little bit of um, outline there with the darker blue and we also need to put the legs in so we can just go over our pencil drawing there So thanks for painting with me again today. Hope you've enjoyed painting your dragonfly and I look forward to seeing you next time.